is cool. I've never been to a psychic expo before. Me neither. Oh, I can't wait to get my fortune told. Thanks for bringing us, Mrs. B. Like you, I'm just fascinated by tarot cards, palm readers, and energy crystals. But I'm really here to get my astrology chart read. I'll meet you kids over at Zelda's. Maybe I could get her to do an astrology reading for me, too. If it's guidance you seek, let Zelda show you the stars. <laughs> cool, psychic glasses. Cool, alien headgear. It's supposed to help your brain think. You should get one for math class. Would you like your horoscope? Like my psychic glasses? What do they do? They let you see the psychic dimension that's all around us. I got my horoscope. But it's not very exciting. Let's catch up with Mrs. Brierson and get you a real astrology reading. What's with the goat? I think I read somewhere that goats have psychic powers. Psychic powers? Really? Hi, kids. Oh, I'm sure glad I went to that reading. I was in serious, serious trouble. But Zelda's going to help me. I wonder if she can help me, too. Oh, no. My watch. I'm sure I wore it today. No, anyway, I have to get home. Zelda says it's not good for me to be outside when the stars are conspiring against me. Come on, let's get my reading done. What can I do for you? My friend would like her chart read. I'm a Virgo, born September 3rd. I knew it even before you came in. That is the power of Zelda. Hmm. Yes. Mmm, interesting. Oh! What? What? Your insensitive and competitive attitude is likely to create antagonism. You do not make a good friend. No way! That's completely wrong! Virgos are the most sensitive sign in the Zodiac. They make the best friends in the world. You dare challenge Zelda? Listen, Missy, if you know what's good for you, you'll stay out of our way! Three of you should watch yourselves. You are star-crossed. What a terrible astrologer. And did I see, like, this astral projection of her, or am I going crazy? You must be going crazy. I just didn't like her. Maybe I saw her astral projection because of these psychic glasses. Weird. Uh, I don't know why you made us buy these psychic glasses. I really wanted that pyramid hat. Even if we never run into Zelda again, they're a great investment. Hey, the antique bracelet my grandma gave me. And Mrs. Brierson lost her watch. Coincidence? You think Zelda is the culprit? Their things went missing after they saw Zelda. And Zelda doesn't know much about astrology. Hey, look! Isn't that Zelda's goat? Concentrate on your destiny. Look! Devious spies! Stay away from my window! You are in serious trouble with the stars. But with help from Madame Zelda, your fate can be changed. Whatever you say, Zelda. I'll do anything. And remember, trust no one but Zelda. I've never seen anything like Zelda. She's got to be some kind of witch. Double trouble. A witch that can turn into two people at the same time. I will leave Caprice here. <laughs> she will protect you from evil forces. Keep her with you at all times. Thanks, Zelda. I guess... <laughs> It, 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 n nice, goatee. <laughs> Mrs. Bryerson was turned into a crab. Hmm. Her astrological sign is cancer. And the sign for cancer is a crab. 
I think she can turn everyone in town into their astrological signs. She has to be stopped. But how? We'll have to follow her and find her weak spot. Everyone has a weak spot, and we might need my book on astrology. Let's get ready. We've looked everywhere. How can we follow her if we can't even find her? I just want to find my bracelet. Hey, my horoscope from the robot. Be mindful of two-faced individuals. Look to the zodiac for guidance and follow the signs for what you seek. What signs? Well, Zelda is definitely the two-faced individual. That's the sign for Sagittarius. His arrow is aimed this way. Come on. This is where the arrow would have landed, and here is... The sign for Aquarius is the water bear. That guy. Now what? The sign for Pisces is the fish, and this is a fish store. Come on, put on your psychic glasses. There she is! What do we do now? Don't let her see us. Thank you. Zelda's disappeared. Hey, there's the goat and Mrs. Bryerson. Look, the goat is the symbol for Capricorn. Let's follow them. She's going to the bank. Yes, I'd like to withdraw all my money. I just hope it's not for Zelda. Mrs. B! Don't give her your money! She's a witch! You know nothing! <laughs> Get those miscreants! Uh-oh. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> Giving me this money will help to protect you. Who do we follow? We're supposed to follow the signs. And the goat is the sign for Capricorn. I wish I knew how to stop that Zelda. It would be tough to battle two witches. While we're here, that witch and her extra evil twin... Twin? Of course. Why didn't I think of that before? We should have followed Zelda, not the goat. Zelda has a twin because she's a Gemini. The sign for Gemini is the twins. But even if we find her, how do we stop her? I'm not positive, but I think I just found her weak spot. Geminis do not like criticism especially from someone close to them and who's closer to you than your astral twin. Let's get back to the psychic fair. <laughs> We're going in. Deal with the might of Leo and the power of Capricorn! Watch out! Ah! <sighs> Mona, help! A pro like you should have known that Leo's and Capricorn's aren't compatible signs. Help! something! I'll take care of them! Why should she do anything for you when all you care about is yourself and not her? That's not true! Then why is she always stuck doing your dirty work? Did you even tell her you don't like her? What? How dare you! You need me! No, you imbecile! You need me! And just get them! No, oh, this is just a trick to distract us! She doesn't like you and never did. <gasps> Yeah? Well, she needs me! Without me, she's nothing! Now you've turned me into my astrology sign! Take this! Let's get out of here! All the Zelda
Geraldos are caught in the tent, Officer Halcroft. And here are the stolen goods and Mrs. Brierson's money. Well, what do we have here? The evidence you need to arrest that two-faced, mind-controlling Gemini witch. Oh, thank you, Mona. All my things and my money are back. I called Officer Halcroft as soon as I'd realized I'd made a terrible mistake trusting Zelda. And here's my bracelet. Can someone get me out of here? Sure, but you're under arrest. Looks like Officer Halcroft is a Gemini, too. <laughs> So why do you say that Lady Mabel is Queen of the Fairies? In fairy folklore, Queen Mab is Queen of the Fairies, and Mabel's store is called Queen Mab's. That doesn't prove anything. Yeah? Well, how do you explain how Mabel knew which herb to give me to get rid of my hay fever? And another time, she gave me something that made my cold go away. Yeah. How do you explain that? Well, maybe she just read it in a book. And she picks the herbs herself out in the woods. With the help of the fairies, of course. You don't really believe that, do you? And why are you spending money on a house for somebody who doesn't even exist? Fairies do too exist, Charlie. Hello, Lily. Oh, hi, Queen Mab. Uh, I mean, Mabel. I'm here to buy that fairy house. Oh, yes. I have it in the back. Fairy folk can be pretty hard to see, but they're always around. There's even fairies brownies, and water sylphs that take care of all the good things right here in Queen Mab's store. You believe in fairies, don't you, Mona? Yep. And so does Faye. See? Hmm. Here it is, Lily. Leopold just finished working on it last night. I'm sure there's already a few fairy folk around your house anxious to move in. How much is this cool scepter? Oh, that's my special walking stick. It's not for sale. I always bring it with me when I go in the forest collecting herbs and berries. So what if birds move into the house and eat all the fairies? I wouldn't joke about the fairies, Charlie, just because you don't believe in them. No one believes in them because, newsflash, they don't exist. Shh, the fairies can hear you, and you don't want to make them angry. Oh, no! Angry fairies! Oh, I'm really scared! They might throw flowers at me! Or carry me away! Mona, your Cyclops eye's ready! Uh, uh, Hello? Oh, hi, Mona. My hay fever is back, so I have to go see Queen Mab on the way to... Achoo! Sure, I'll go with you. Bye. Hey, stop that! What do you think you're doing? Oh, Fang! Mona, he's not supposed to be on the counter. It wasn't Fang, Mom. It was a fairy. Well, then the fairy can help you and Fang clean it up. Achoo! But she's always open this early. We can come back after school. Uh, Whoa! Look! It was the fairies. The bad fairies. Oh, something must be wrong with Queen Mab. Usually, Queen Mab and the good fairies keep the bad fairies from causing trouble. And left, and right, and left, and right, and left, and right. Oh, my hay fever is getting worse. And I know why. Look! The fairies are stirring up all the pollen. Mona, please keep your cat from tripping up your fellow students. It wasn't Fang. It was the fairies. 
Uh, class, let's finish this up in the school gym. Looks like everyone is getting a touch of hey. Just because a vase broke and a sign fell and everyone got hay fever in gym class doesn't mean fairies exist. Yeah? Well, Queen Mab was also missing this morning. Lily's worried that the fairies heard you insulting them. It's still closed. She's never closed. Something must be wrong. Maybe she's just late for work. Late? It's almost closing time. My vampire senses are telling me that we better be ready for anything. So what do we do? I think Mona the Vampire, Zatman, and Princess Giant are going to pay Queen Mab a visit. After we have a snack. Just a little snack. So what else does the fairy encyclopedia say? Just that Pat is the made bad fairy. And if he's captured Queen Mab, it means big trouble. Big uh, trouble uh, for little uh, fairies. It says in the book that if they keep her imprisoned until the full moon comes out, Pat and the other bad fairies will rule for a year. That would be a year of big trouble. Well, I'll believe it when I see it. This is where Queen Mab lives. Excuse me, we're looking for Queen Mab. Uh, Mabel. Oh, hi. Mabel went out into the woods to pick some herbs for hay fever season. Uh, she should have been back a few hours ago, <laughs> but she always gets carried away out there. I'm sure she'll be back soon. She didn't take her scepter. Can we take this to her? Her scepter? Oh, her walking stick. Yeah, sure. Hmm. She never forgets that. Uh, uh, two. Queen Map always has her scepter when she goes in the forest. I hope she didn't get into trouble with all the misbehaving fairies. Proceed no further. This is the realm of the fairies. Do not enter. The queen is ours! Did you hear that? It was one of the fairies warning us to stay away. Yeah, all right. No! I know something that might keep the fairies from playing these tricks on us. Fairies again? It was just roots or branches or something. I'm not wearing my clothes inside out to protect me from fairies, because fairies don't exist. In the olden days, people used to do it all the time. It confuses the fairies. That's why I keep tripping my shoes untied. Hey, where's that man? Do you think fairies are known to make travelers lose their way? And he didn't have his clothes on inside out. Right. He was probably crossing the log and... And the fairies carried him away! Hey! Puppy! Mabel! Oh, I warned him to stop making fun of the fairies! Oh, Zatman! Zatman! Where are you? Zatman? Where are you, Zatman? First Queen Man. It'll all be too late. Ha! Uh, ha! Uh, Zatman! It's Pad! <laughs> now you and the Queen and your disbelieving friend will all be our prisoners! Better take a rain check, Pad, old pal. We're not leaving until they're safe. <laughs> oh, really? Mona, what's going on? Get me out of this thing! Mona! Princess Giant! I'm trapped! That man's over there! You won't be helping him! Now, give us Queen Mad Scepter! Never! We're surrounded! Must help them! Never fear! Zapman is... Oh, help! I'm sinking! We can't help you. We're stuck too, Mona. Look! It's Queen Mab over there! Queen Mab, help! With
without my scepter, I don't even have the power to walk! Give me the scepter! Never! Princess Giant! Sink! No! Give it to me! Queen Mab, catch! Fairies, brownies, sylphs, all of you, attack the Queen! <laughs> Sorry, Pad. Time for you to go back where you belong. Ah! Oh, no! Mark my words. I'll be back one day. I will! I will! Would someone help me? Please? Am I glad to see you three? I sprained my ankle out here and of all the days not to bring my walking stick. Thanks. It would have taken me hours to walk back. Look! The moon! We were just in time. Achoo! Hey, Fever. I've got the perfect cure for you. Hey, Charlie. All your clothes are inside out. It's to keep the bad fairies away. <laughs> but all the bad fairies are good again thanks to Queen Mab. Really? I'd better go change them. Everyone will tease me if I go into school dressed like this. Oh, no!